Okay, everyone, uh, we are inside this magnificent package for designing expert advisors trading robots, which is called FX Dreamer. It's actually a website, so the program works off the website. And now I'm going to show you how easy it is to design a trading robot within under 10 minutes, maybe 15 at a stretch. So I'm going to be talking as well as doing stuff. Let's begin. So the concept of this EA will be for it to detect a high volume coming into the market and go into the direction of that volume detected. So for this we need two conditions. The candle, which is a bull or a bear for sell, and the volume. And this is how we start. Here is our options to, to, to choose from and we need to start from checking whether there's a trade already going on or not. So here it is, out of these signals we choose check trades and we want no trade. So we want two of those, one for buying and one for selling, so two no trades happening already. Now we need conditions, so when do we buy? Let's call this buy. Not to not to confuse it afterwards. So this is your buy set of conditions, and this is your sell set of conditions. So now we actually need the actual conditions. From here, choose the first condition which is going to be our bear or bull cardinal, but because we're buying, we're going to choose a bull cardinal, and the second condition will be volume associated with that particular bull candle. Now this is as simple as we connect this to first condition, and we connect the first condition to the second condition. See? This is now, they are all connected. Now, Let's define the condition number one, which is going to be a candle. See this drop down list here, which is candle, and then from this second drop down list, which is bull candle instead of turtle size, body size. So we're interested in the body size of a bull candle. And the candle ID is set to zero, meaning we are talking about this current candle, not the candle before, not two candles before, just this, what's happening now. Now, this body of this candle, which is forming now on our charts, needs to be, in pips, needs to be higher than, here we can choose higher, lower, so we choose greater than, and then value. And in this case, we're happy with just two pips. By the way, we're designing this for one minute chart, and on a one minute chart, two pips is quite a significant size if it's backed up with big volume. So this is our first condition. We chose from candles here, we chose bull candle body size in pips, and the candle we're talking about is the candle forming now in front of our eyes on the charts. So the body should be greater than two pips here. Now I ticked those two boxes, why? Because later when we're testing the EA these are going to be our variable inputs, we can adjust the sizes later. Okay, so then click update. Now those two conditions, uh, the first condition is updated and connected. Now let's create the second condition which is going to be our volume. Again from the main drop-down list uh, we choose again the candle instead of candle body size now we choose candle volume and again candle ID is now so we are still talking about the candle that is still forming so the volume of this candle needs to be greater than value greater than 300 now and this is all going to be adjustable see uh, for later input. Why 300? Because uh, if you've been 
Uh, if you've been following any volumes, if you've been investigating volumes on your one minute charts, 300 is a very strong signal. Now, this is the buy conditions defined. What I'm going to do now is select these two conditions, right click, copy, right click somewhere else and paste. Now, why did I do that? Because we already we just need to change parameters on these new two conditions. Connect them to sell first. Condition first needs to be instead of bull candle, we'll change it to bear candle for this size. And the rest remains the same, needs to be greater than two pips. Update. And the second condition it stays as it is because the volume was still a bull or a bear candle. We don't care. We need high volume and 300 is very high, but it's adjustable for later on. Update. Now, what we forgot is to go into this first beginnings of this buys and sell trades. These are the hubs, let's call them hubs, and define the groups. So for the buys, we're going to call it group one. And instead of buys or sells, we just want to make them buys only. Update and do the opposite on a second cell hub. So this is going to be our group two now because we already have group one and this one only sells. Update. So far so good and it looks great. Now how do we buy or sell? And for this particular uh, strategy we don't want to buy straight away. We want to place a buy order by stop order and this is how we do it so instead of this is our buy sell section here so instead of buy now which would have just bought immediately as soon as the conditions are met buy pending order drag it over there and instead of sell sell pending order drag it over here I'm not connecting those just yet because we're going to add things like spread filter and days filter. So just leave them unconnected but do adjust the parameters. So when we're buying we are connecting it to group 1 as defined in a hub of buying. Now we want to place 1.3 pips higher our buy stop order and this is this is where you define that and also tick this little box why because later when we test in the EA we're gonna have a great chance of adjusting these parameters instead of now this is money management which is very clever instead of fixed volume we choose percentage of equity and you can type in here 100 as it is and that'll be fine but for more aggressive I'm gonna type in 3000 but also make it later adjustable by ticking that box next to it. Initial stop loss um, I'm gonna leave it at 5 pips it's quite a big distance. Uh, take profit I'm gonna leave to 0 but again by ticking these boxes these are all going to be adjustable later on. Now expiration means well how long is that order gonna stay on our on our chart instead of no expiration which is specified time and one minute again this is not doesn't need to be adjustable because of what we do later on this is just their extra safety so if nothing happens if our price doesn't touch the order in one minute the order will be automatically expired ie deleted from the chart update and we do the same on cell pending order. We want to choose the group first. Remember our group here is group 2, so we type in 2. Now we want to use the same 1.3 pip distance from the current price. Instead of fixed volume, percentage of equity, aggressively 3000, completely adjustable later. These are all going to be adjustable later. So 
stop initial stop loss by pips take profit at zero pips why am i not putting anything in take profit because in for this strategy we're going to be using a trailing stop now expiration the same specified time and one minute that's all done now before we connect this to the other conditions we want to use a spread filter and here in this magnificent program that we're using we have filters and one of them is spread filter so I'm going to put this spread filter in and connect this condition to the spread filter filter so all of the cell will go through this filter and then all of the buy as well will go through that spread filter uh, let's go into the spread filter and make this adjustable in our EA so here it's it's a nice setting as it comes if the spread is higher than five pips we're not going to trade click update now we also need days filter which days of the week so we can choose later um, and we want uh, week, weekday filter there it is so we can take this from spread filter connect it down to the weekday filter now let's adjust the weekday filter make this all adjustable for later on for now I'm leaving them all all days Monday Tuesday etc are trading but later we can change that update now finally we can connect all these filters to our pending orders buy stops and sell stops double clicking this and clicking update will update even the connections we just made update done REA is basically done and ready to go but we need to take care of some other stuff which is more clever now what, what we're going to do is check for trading orders that these these modules are placing sorry pending orders if pending order this is this is here and we need two of those one for buying orders and one for selling orders so the first one is going to be going to be buy if there are pending orders group one because as you remember we assigned group one to pending orders of buying and instead of either buys or sells buys instead of limits and stops stops because buy stops are the orders we're using so if any of those detected is now we need a condition uh, one for each one for buys and one for sells connect this to this condition and I'm, for this condition I'm going to use an indicator called force index so really really clever underused indicator not many people use it for some reason but I personally it's one of my favorites uh, median so the period of this uh, force index indicator I chose one why because it's the shortest period and it's basically now uh, if this crosses below the value of 0 0.002 also making this adjustable for later on then we want to automatically delete our buying pending orders because market went the other way uh, sorry this should be minus my mistake minus 0 0.002 force index period one median price update now let me delete this and just copy this across it's so much easier copy and paste now for this we need to do the opposite so if force index period one median price crosses above value 0, 0.0 in this case positive then we want to delete the sell orders and the last module is trading actions delete 
pending orders. We need two of those. One for buys and one for sales. Again, connect this and assign groups. So this will delete the buy orders because it's a group one, and this will be the group two, just taking care of sell orders. And this is it. REA is ready to be exported over here. Click on MQ4, which will export your code file, which you can then compile, or EX4, which will give you an already compiled version. I always prefer MQ4 because I can just manually go into script and change it a bit if I want to. So, and that's it for today. Uh, for the next lesson, I will show you how the EA works and how we can actually modify it, optimize it and take it that step further. I hope this helped. You can rewind this video as many times, pause it to help you actually understand what we've done there. I hope I wasn't too confusing and I hope I wasn't rushing it through. Alright everyone, ciao ciao, bye bye.